The Boeing KC-46 Pegasus is an American military aerial refueling and strategic military transport aircraft developed by Boeing from its 767 jet airliner in February 2011. The Tanger was selected by the United States Air Force USAF, as the winner in the KCX Tanker competition to replace older Boeing KC-135 Stratotankers. The first aircraft was delivered to the Air Force in January 2019. The Air Force intends to procure 179 Pegasus aircraft by 2027. In 2001, the U.S. Air Force began a procurement program to replace around 100 of its oldest KC-135E Stratotankers and selected Boeing's KC-767. The Boeing tanker received the KC-767A designation from the United States Department of Defense in 2002 and appeared in the 2004 edition of Dodd Model Designation Report. The USAF decided to lease 100 KC-767 tankers from Boeing. U.S. Senator John McCain and others criticized the draft leasing agreement as being wasteful and problematic in response to protests. The USAF struck a compromise in November 2003, whereby it would purchase 80 KC 767s and lease 20 more in December 2003. The Pentagon announced a freeze on the program over an investigation into alleged corruption that led to the jailing of one of its former procurement executives who applied to work for Boeing. The KC-767A contract was cancelled by the DOT in January 2006. In 2006, the USAF released a request for proposal, RFP, for a new tanker program, KCX, to be selected by 2007. Boeing announced it may enter a higher capability tanker based on the Boeing 777 named the KC-777 Strategic Tanker, Airbus partnered with Northrop Grumman to offer the Airbus A330 MRTT, the tanker version of the A330, which was marketed to the USAF under the designation KC-30 in January 2007. The USAF issued the KCX Aerial Refueling Aircraft RFP, calling for 179 tankers for system development and demonstration, and 175 production, in a contract worth an estimated US $40 billion, $54.7 billion in 2022 Northrop and Eads expressed dissatisfaction at how the RFP was structured and threatened to withdraw, leaving only Boeing in the running. In February 2007, Boeing announced it was offering the KC-767 advanced tanker for the KCX stating that the KC-767 was a better fit than the KC-777 for the requirements. In April 2007, Boeing submitted its KC-767 tanker proposal to USAF. The KC-767 offered for this KCX round was based on the in-development 767-200 LRF long-range freighter rather than the minus 200 ER, on which Italian and Japanese KC-767 aircraft are based differing by combining the minus 200 ER fuselage, minus 300 F-wing, gear cargo door and floor, minus 400 ER digital flight deck and flaps, uprated engines, and sixth generation fly-by-wire fuel delivery boom. Boeing submitted its final proposal in January 2008. In February 2008, the Dodd chose the KC-30 over the KC-767. The USAF subsequently designated it KC-45A. Boeing submitted a protest to the United States Government Accountability Office in March 2008 and waged a public relations campaign in support of their protest. In June, after USAF admissions on bidding process flaws, the GAO upheld Boeing's protest and recommended the contract be rebid. In September 2009, the USAF began a new round of bids with a clearer set of criteria, including reducing the number of requirements from 800 to 373 in an attempt to simplify the process and allow a more objective decision to be made in March 2010. 
Boeing announced it would bid the KC-767 for the new KCX round, Eads stated in April 2010. It would submit a bid without Northrop Grumman. As a U.S. partner Boeing submitted its KC-767 Nugent tanker bid, based on the 767-200 with an improved version of the KC-10's refueling boom and cockpit displays from the 787 in July 2010 Boeing, submitted a revised bid in February 2011.